क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी वन से इज द कैपलस लॉ ऑफ एरिया इज अ कॉन्सिक्वेंस ऑफ द लॉ ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ एनर्जी मास लीन मोमेंटम और एंगुलर मोमेंटम डियर स्टूडेंट्स इट इज अ फेयरली थियोरेटिकल क्वेश्चन इट इज नोन दैट द कैपलस लॉ ऑफ एरिया इज अ कॉन्सिक्वेंस ऑफ लॉ ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ एंगुलर मोमेंटम एंड दे फॉर द आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन नंबर फोर नाउ लेट एस प्रोसीड टू द क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी टू क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी टू से इज एस्केप स्पीड फ्रॉम द अर्थ सर्फेस इज वी द एस्केप स्पीड फ्रॉम द सर्फेस ऑफ अ प्लैनेट हुज रेडियस इज हाफ एंड मेन डेंसिटी इज डबल दैट ऑफ द अर्थ विल बी डे स्टूडेंट्स द एस्केप स्पीड कैन बी रिटर्न टू बी इक्वल टू आर ई अंडर रूट ऑफ फोर बाय थ्री पाय रो जी वेर रो इज द डेंसिटी एंड आर ई इज द रेडियस therefore dear students we can write down that the ratio of escape speeds to be equal to re ro for the first case divided by re root ro for the second case on substituting the given values we can write that re root ro divided by re by 2 2 ro which will be equal to 1 divided by 1 by root 2 Which will be equal to root two, and hence the escape speed would be equal to one by root two times the escape speed on the Earth, which means that the option number three is the correct answer. Now let us proceed to the question number thirty-three. Question number thirty-three says, if the Earth stops rotating, then the value of acceleration due to gravity at the Ames campus, Delhi, will be. Dear students. Due to the rotation of the Earth, the effective value of the acceleration due to gravity decreases. And if the rotation of the Earth stops, the effective centrifugal force that would be felt on the Earth reduces, and hence the acceleration due to gravity would increase. Which means that the option number one for this question is the correct answer. Now let us proceed to the question number thirty-four. Question number thirty-four says a satellite in a circular orbit of radius r has time period of six hours. Another satellite revolving in an orbit of radius four r around the same planet will have a time period. Dear students, according to Kepler's law, t square is proportional to r cube, which we can also write that t is proportional to r to the power three by two. Taking the ratio in both the cases, we can write down that the new time period divided by six would be equal to four r to the power three by two divided by r to the power three by two, which means that t would be equal to six into four to the power three by two. That will be forty-eight hours, and hence the correct answer for this question turns out to be option number. Now let us proceed to the question number thirty-five. Question number thirty-five says four particles each of mass two kg are placed at vertices of a square of side two root two meters. The potential at the center of the square is. Dear students, in this question a square is given. At the vertices of the square there are four identical particles. The mass of each particle is. Two kg, and the side length of the square is two root two meters. We have to find out the potential at the center of the square. Dear students, the distance of this point O from each mass would be half of the diagonal, which would be equal to one by root two times multiplied by the side of the square, and hence the length would be two meter, and this would be the distance of point O from each mass. Dear students, we can write down the potential due to one mass to be equal to minus g into two by two. That will be equal to minus g. For the four masses, the total potential will be four times this value, which will be minus four g. And hence, the correct answer for this question is option number four. Now let us proceed to the question number thirty-six. 